so then you found Medical Medium, and that was in 2018. So from 2015 to 2018, you were jumping from doctor to doctor to doctor and not getting anywhere. Well, now I guess we don't really have an excuse anymore because all the books are out there and it's all free, pretty much. If you want to go to the library, you can pick up a medical medium book and figure out how to defeat whatever you're trying to deal with. So, I mean, it's, it's out. The word is out. And I'm trying to help get that word out, too, so that nobody has to go through what I went through. I don't ever want to see somebody have to go through that, but it was just a rebound. Um, and, well, that's, uh, what, that's what I find yeah, interesting about, I tried your, it all. about your story is that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that might come across medical medium. Like in your example, it was on your refrigerator. It was in front of your face every day when you open that fridge and you just kind of <laughs> brushed past it. And, you know, People do that with medical medium all the time. They might catch one of his lives or have a book, you know, you know, and this was the story with Miranda. It was, the book was sitting on her shelf. She had a juicer at her house. She'd never opened, you know, it's like, and you hear all these stories, the same sort of thing. Like God had given you that message that, Hey, look, dude, here's your answer right here. Look in front of you. And you didn't, but under no fault of your own, you were still thinking that conventional medicine, alternative medicine, had answers for you, which they which they didn't. But so, I got to ask you this: you found medical medium, and you come home, and what did you tell your wife when you came home and discovered, hey, medical medium is my answer? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, you remember that guy that we were kind of like, is this guy for real? Is this guy like crazy or something? Are we going to look into this? And, you know what? I'm going for it. I think I've tried everything else. Why not? She said, you know, yeah, it has sounded right to me. I've read about it. I've read what this guy said. And yeah, it sounds, it's a little hard to believe where, where he gets this information, but it all makes sense. It makes sense in a commonsensical way that you can just put these foods to work for you to get your health back. And these foods do have properties that even mainstream science has recognized are beneficial for certain aspects of your life. So that was it. We just both ran with it and I never looked back. You know, I never looked back. I was like, that's it. And, you know, initially when I first started doing the medical medium information, um, <clears throat> I was still kind of high fat. At dinner, I didn't I didn't understand that part yet that we were lowering fats. Like the goal was to significantly lower or eliminate overt fats if you can. And at first, I was having like a lot of oil still. I was having a lot of beans, a lot of avocado, a lot of nuts and seeds and stuff like that. Until I finally started to really dive deep into the information and read the books. I remember. So that day when I was on when I was on the ride home after getting that juice, I was I went looking for the books. I couldn't find them locally, so I ordered one online, but I didn't want to wait that long. I didn't want to wait anymore, so I, I downloaded the audio book. And as I'm driving to meet my wife and son, uh, they're actually at the library, I was, um, <laughs> I was listening to the, to the nice woman listing off all the supplements that you need to defeat whatever syndrome from book one. And I pulled over real quick, and I was like, oh, and I'm trying to write down all these supplements, like... Okay, okay, a star and east. Like, yep, I'm, <laughs> I'm butchering the spelling because I hadn't heard half of the stuff ever. Um, but I was so ecstatic because I was sure that this was my ticket. I knew it. And I haven't doubted it since. I Honestly, I haven't. I, I haven't, you know. Um, and thank God I did and, I, and that my faith held strong because my body rebuilt. My symptoms went away. My life came back. I went back to work better than ever. And now here I am. I'm 40 years old, and I feel better than I did when I was in my 20s. Honest <laughs> to God. I tell people that uh, regularly because it's true. I really do. And I still do the medical medium information diligently every single day. It's a lifestyle. It so really when, you, when you found his information, take us through kind of that timeline. Like, you know, when did your symptoms start to lessen? When did you feel like things were kind of normalizing again 
Yeah. So it wasn't instant. It wasn't like I took my first sip of celery juice and I was just like, I'm back, baby. Like, I'm fine. But I just knew in my soul that this was the route back to repairing my body. So I stuck with it. And those first six months were tough. And like I said, I started high fat and then I went um, all raw, uh, fat free for um, all the way until... November Thanksgiving of 2018 was then I brought in potato and sweet potatoes. Yeah, I passed that around to the family after Thanksgiving dinner. See how everybody's expressions, mindset changes. But the bodies will thank you for it. Oh, man. But prior to that, I went all raw, fat free. Um, so I, I must have done some pretty serious cleansing during that time period. Um, and then I brought in potatoes, and I was really enjoying potatoes. And, and, and I was still kind of struggling with potatoes at first because my digestion was so weak. I couldn't have them a ton, but I did love bananas and papayas. Like, those were my main staples for getting through the day. Spinach soup. I had spinach soup with fruit every day. I still do. Um, and... It took me about six months before I really turned a corner. And I remember uh, having my company Christmas party, which was vastly different. The previous company Christmas party, I was so sick and ill and just falling apart and brought people to this restaurant. It was an all-you-can-eat restaurant. We just ate a bunch of garbage and it was, you know, everybody was doing that. This Christmas party, I was very healthy feeling. I had energy. I wasn't burping all the time. I could eat solid food and I could function. So I actually made a whole bunch of medical medium meals with the help of my wife and we brought them all for friends and family. I ended up just inviting like all my friends and family and stuff and we just had this big party and it was great. I was so happy. I was feeling so relieved and I can remember going home and just like crying and saying like, I'm going to live. I'm going to survive. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to fall apart like all these doctors told me I was just going to explode. I'm going to live, and I'm going to be here for my son. I'm going to be here as a beacon of light. You better believe it for people that went through what I went through, and I try to help people every single day, every time somebody reaches out to me and tell them exactly what I'm telling you because it's the truth, because it's how it worked. And so right after then, I really things started really snowball. And through 2019 was just like pretty steady healing consistently. I was putting weight back on. I was putting um, muscle back on. I was starting to be able to function again. I was working full time. I was doing good. And uh, it just kept going like that. And until 2020, um, of course, the pandemic affected everybody, as you can imagine, if, if it's cool for me to say that. But um, then we get into 2020. And it gave me an excuse to plant a garden, and I planted the most, you know, gangbusters crazy garden, which I brought in the culmination of medical medium information. We had sprouts inside, we had potatoes going, I had everything. I had celery, I had my own celery, and that stuff was dark green, man. That was some powerful dank celery, let me tell you right now. It was serious. And uh, we had kale, we had lettuce, we had cucumbers. It was so good, man. It was awesome. And it was the first try, too. We just, we just crushed it. And that took the healing to a whole nother level. Because if you get into medical medium information, you get into podcasts, you understand gardening and stuff like that. And he talks about how when we garden, that food that we grow starts to sync up with our energetic being and develop in a way that best suits us so you're getting that plus you're getting the elevated biotics which are the right microorganisms to have in your gut as opposed to the probiotics and the microorganisms of death which all of the conventional and unconventional doctors were telling me to eat <clears throat> the microbiotics the elevated biotics the little tiny living things that was what helped me to really start synthesizing my own vitamin b12 for myself Getting that stuff into me, I felt, was the next level. That was the next level of my repair of my body, was bringing that all in because I was dangerously deficient on elevated biotics. And when I started eating the food, that, the organic food that I was growing 
right off of the right off of the plan. Boom, just boom, right to your mouth. That was it, man. That that's what brought me to the next level. And, I, and then I just felt like I was fine, and I was just like, I had PTSD. I was like, am I okay? Like, can I just can I just like live my life now? <laughs> like, when's the next shoe gonna drop? Like, yeah. is everything okay? But I'm fine. Like, everything's all right. And um, now here we are, you know, 2022, and I'm totally in control of my life. Yeah. So all in all, it's been I'll be four years May. 2022 and uh i would say that i've made a 100 percent recovery now i will say this with an asterisk is that what i've learned studying the medical medium information and alternative information sources is that we live in a world of pathogens viruses bacterias toxins etc that's a part of life on planet earth so even if you completely heal everything in your body you don't have any symptoms. You get every pathogen and garbage out. The second you walk out into the world, you're getting exposed to all that stuff again. So it's not enough to just heal, right? And then go back to eggs and lamb and bro bone broth and bacon and eggs and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Like that's, that's not the goal here. So the goal is learning to live in this world of pathogens and toxins and radiation and all this stuff that we're up against. But... We have the defense with this knowledge that allows us to navigate this world so that if we do get a bug again, it's not going to come a pro it's not going to become a problem. You're going to be yeah. able to manage it, right? So that's how I live my life. Cool. Cool, man. So, yeah, that, that sounds like quite a journey. Four years, coming May. Did, um, so yeah. Yeah. when you were, after that six-month period, would you say after the six months you felt normal again and your digestive problems were completely gone? Or were you still having digestive issues beyond that period? You know, in a year after that, all of a sudden... It they would were come gone. on... Yeah. It would come on with stress, mostly. That was the only thing that would exacerbate my symptoms at that point. Like, after about a good six months of what I did, which was intense, it's not for everybody, I went... I tend to go all in with stuff. Like I went all in where I basically lived a proto 369 without day nine juicing for, you know, six months. And then I continued that at salt free, fat free, et cetera, with potatoes. And then I would intermittently throw in raw periods of time and 369s, et cetera, and so on. But that after that first six months, my symptoms were manageable enough where they would only really come out under periods of extreme stress. And even when that would happen, it would only last for a brief amount of time before I could right the ship again. You know, like the kayak would tip over, but I would tip it back up pretty quick and keep on, you know, paddling. So yeah, and you hit these pockets too when you're when you're healing. You know, you do you do some of Anthony's cleanses and all of a sudden you hit some pocket that you was never there before and you have diarrhea for a couple days and you're like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Is my stomach stuff coming back? Yeah. When really it's, you know, more, more you, you're, you're cleansing. So how many of these cleanses did you do through this, the, the, this time you were healing? I mean, when you first found Anthony's info, did you like jump on the 28 day cleanse right away? Did, did you do some liver cleansing? You, you know, some of, a lot of his books were out by then. So you had a lot more information than, um, than, than we did when we first started. Mm -hmm. Well, I, yeah, when I started, we had book one, medical medium book one, we had life changing foods and we had thyroid healing. And I did basically jump on a 28 day cleanse. And then I kind of evolved that into a daily routine where I would wake up every morning, sour juice, heavy metal detox smoothie, spinach soup, um, lemon water throughout the day, spinach soup with fruit, spinach soup with fruit again for dinner at night, and then snack on fruit. So that's pretty much how I lived, which was kind of like the 369 pretty much yeah, that I kind of just immediately adopted. Um, so I lived that, and I kind of still live that to this day. Um, but... Uh, I also started um, 
trying a mono cleanse. I did the uh, I did a banana mono cleanse. I did a potato mono cleanse. I did multiple three six nine advanced. I've never done any other version of three six nine except for advanced. Um, I think I've done under twelve probably at this point. I I didn't keep track. I should have kept track. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. Um, but I did them a lot, and it just became a way of life. Wow. So yeah, it sounds like he did a lot of cleansing over that over that four years.